Ayúdame a cantar. Un pulpito, un pulpito nadando en el agua. For Tulare, for it being the city with the mo with the highest teen pregnancy rate around, they don't have a family planning program here. They don't have one. That makes no sense to me. I couldn't provide for him. I was only 16. So I was just scared, real scared. Caballo. Caballo azul. You see it? Un atún. Un atún. Nadando en el agua. Una rana. ¿Dónde vas? When you're young, you don't care. You think nothing's gonna happen, but it does happen, and like, it can change your life like forever. Like, you are 16 years old, and like, if you become a mom, you're gonna be a mom for the rest of your life. I was able to like keep it from my parents for quite a bit. For my mom, I probably kept it away from her for like four months. I remember coming home from school and getting off the bus stop, and I was gonna walk home, and I saw my sister out there, and I was like, what happened? She was like, you have to come home with me because dad found out already, and he's gonna hit you if you go home. Because I knew I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had all the support from my family and everything and from his dad, but I just knew I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. For some people, it's harder, but for me, it was actually really easy. Really? Yeah. My mom, she's a very good support system, and my husband, he was terrific. He was working whenever he was 17. He got a job at the dairy, and everything kind of worked out for us. But not everybody is like that, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you junkie boy? Yeah, did you junkie boy? Are you tired? We were talking about having another baby. We weren't expecting so soon, so we weren't really worried about it because we had been having unprotected sex for what three years and hadn't got pregnant. So, and then we started talking about it, and then once we started talking about it, it just came. <laughs> Not everybody has the support system that I did. Just either have safe sex or don't have it at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.